Hello friends, this video on integers part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now that we have discussed about what are integers and how do we decide which is a bigger integer, which is a smaller integer, etc. Now it's time that we discuss about operations on integers. Now what are the operations that we will discuss? The common operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So how do we add or subtract or multiply or divide integers? Now in order to do these operations, we will follow some very simple rules. Now, there are certain rules to be followed in order to perform operations on integers, especially when we talk about addition of integers or subtraction of integers. So, for those, we will follow these simple rules. Now, when you look at the number line, you want to add a number. If you want to add a positive number to an integer, you need to move towards the right. If you want to add a negative number to the integer, you need to move towards the left. Similarly, just the opposite in case of subtraction, you want to subtract a positive number from an integer, you move towards left. If you want to subtract a negative number, you move towards right. Now you might be thinking, this is such a, this sounds so confusing and I am definitely not going to remember any of these rules. So that is why we have a very simple, very logical memory tip for you. So let us quickly understand the memory tip. Now, whenever you add positive things to your life, so adding positive things to your life, what do you think? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Adding positive things to your life, as adding positive habits to your life. It is definitely the right thing to do. So this is right. So whenever you add positive thing to your life, that is perfect. That is correct. That is right. So similarly, when you add a positive integer to a positive number to an integer, you move towards the right. So add positive integer, move towards right. Similarly, if you are subtracting negative things from your life, you are removing the negative habits from your life. Is that the right thing to do? Yes, of course, that is also the right thing. So what do we want? We want the positive things to be present in our life. So we add positive things to our life and we want to get rid of the negative things. So we just remove the negative things from our life. So adding positive things to our life is the right thing to do. Removing negative things from our life is again the right thing to do. So whenever you add a positive in positive number to an integer, you move towards the right. Whenever you subtract a negative integer, you move towards the right. And in rest of the cases, that is when you add negative things to your life. Is that the right thing to do? That is not the right thing to do. So therefore, you do not move to the right. You move to the left. Similarly, when you subtract positive things from your life, again, that is that the right thing to do? No. So in this case also, you move towards the left. So with this logic, it will be very easy for you to remember when you have to move right and when you need to move left. Now, you must be wondering that, okay, with this right and left, how am I going to add integers? Now, let me give you a very simple and small example here just to illustrate how these rules apply. Let's say that you have an integer, say, minus 2. So minus 2 is your given integer and you are trying to add a positive number to it. So basically, if you want to add a number, say 3, to minus 2. So what are you doing? You are adding a positive number to the integer, right? So when you add positive number to an integer, you move towards right. So from minus 2, you will move 3 steps towards right. That is 1, 2, 3. So you have moved 3 steps. Where have you reached? You have reached at 1. So basically minus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1. Perfect. Okay. Now let us say that you have some other integer. Let's talk about um, say 5. So you have an integer 5. 
Now, if I say that we are trying to add minus 3 to 5. So basically, we are trying to add a negative number to an integer. So when you add a negative number, you move towards left. So from 5, you will start moving towards left. How many steps? 3 steps. So 1, 2 and 3. So where have you reached? You have reached 2. So this proves that 5 plus minus 3 is equal to 2. So in this way, we will be able to perform addition or subtraction on integers. So let us quickly look at addition of integers. Let's say we are adding a positive integer to another positive integer. Now you might be thinking that okay, if we, right now we are drawing number line and doing these. But if we, what if we have to add bigger integers like 1005 plus 216. How will we add them? We cannot draw number lines for such big numbers. Of course we can't. But why are we drawing number lines right now is to make you understand the concept behind addition of integers. Right? So let us take some simple examples to understand addition of positive integer with positive integer. So let us take an example. So let us say one positive integer is 4 and another positive integer is also 4. So what would be 4 plus 4? So where is 4? This is where 4 is located. Now we say that we add 4 to this integer 4. So that means from 4 we will move 4 steps. Where will we move? Towards right or left? So here we are adding a positive integer. So adding positive things to our life is the right thing. So we will move towards right. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. So where have we reached? We have reached at 8. So therefore we will say that 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. So here also do you observe something. Now whenever we add a positive number to an integer, the overall value increases. For example, earlier the value of the integer was 4. The moment we added a positive integer 4 to 8, the result became 8 and 8 is bigger than 4. Now let us look at another example. So let us say what would be 2 plus 7. So 2 again is a positive integer here. So when you add a positive integer to 2, you will move towards the right. So let us move 7 steps towards the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So where have we reached? We have reached at 9. So 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. So similarly, we will look at addition of a positive integer with a negative integer. So in this case, let us take the positive integer to be 4 and let us consider the negative integer to be minus 5. So in this case, we are adding minus 5 to 4. So let us first locate 4. Where do we have 4? This is 4. And from to 4, from 4, we will have to move 5 steps. Now tell me whether we will move towards the right or left because we are adding a negative integer. So adding negative things to our life. Is that the right thing to do? No. So therefore we will not move towards right and we will move towards left. How many steps towards left? Five steps. So one, two, three, four, five. So where have we reached? We have reached at minus one. So we will say that four plus minus five is equal to minus one. Let us take yet another example. Let's say zero plus minus 8. So in this case, the given integer is 0. So we the here is 0 and from 0 we will have to move 8 steps. Here also we are adding negative integer. Therefore, it will move towards the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have reached at minus 8. So this would be minus 8. Now let us take another example where we say minus 6 plus 8. So in this case what happens? The given integer is minus 6 and we you add a positive number to it. So where is minus 6? This is minus 6. We add positive, for positive number. So basically we will move towards the right. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट सो वेर हैव वी रीच्ड वी हैव रीच दैट टू सो माइनस सिक्स प्लस एट विल बी इक्वल टू टू so basically with these calculations the simple tip that you need to remember is whenever you have to add one positive integer with one negative integer subtract the two numbers and put the sign of the bigger number now because as as i said now if you are dealing with bigger numbers it is not possible to draw the number line so what you need to do let's say that you have 56 and say 12 So, if we you are given fifty six plus fifty six and minus twelve, so if you have to add these two, so what you do, you just subtract the two numbers. What is fifty six minus twelve? So fifty six minus twelve would be forty four, and put the sign of the bigger number. So bigger number is fifty six. So fifty six has a plus sign. So the answer will also have a plus sign. Let's say you have minus sixteen plus five. So here also you have one negative and one positive integer. So what you do, you subtract them. So you get eleven, which is bigger number, sixteen. Sixteen has a minus sign, so this will have a minus sign. So whenever you come across one positive integer and one negative integer, and you need to add them, what you do is you subtract them, write the difference, and put the sign of the bigger number. Now let us look at addition of integers where both the integers are negative. So maybe something of this sort. So let us take an example here. Let's consider one negative number as minus four, another negative number is as minus five. So what would be the sum of minus four and minus five? So what does this mean? This basically means that a negative integer is being added to an integer. Now let us locate minus four. This is where minus four is. Now we are adding a negative number to it. So where will we move? Adding negative number, we will move towards left. So five jumps from left. One, two, three, four, five. So where have we reached? We have reached at minus nine. So the sum would be minus nine. So the the simple concept that you need to remember when you add. two negative numbers says you add the two numbers and put a negative sign for example minus 5 plus minus 4 you just added the two numbers and you have put a negative sign let's say you have 150 minus 150 plus minus 101 So what you need to do? Just add the two numbers. So what would you get? You would get two fifty one, and put a negative sign before it. So you really do not need to draw the number line to find whether the sum would be positive or negative. Just remember these tips, and you will be very easily able to perform addition, subtraction, on integers. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes, and you can take a free online test. We have content for class six to twelve on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology, along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.